Hello everyone, welcome back to Pokemon Spectrum version. I am your host, as always, RMGMD Punk, and today we are in Gobi Town. But before we do that, I have done a bit of grinding off screen, not for the whole squad, but you'll see some levels here and there. So let's do a quick team recap. We have Fairfree, the Maloon here. Nothing's changed here. The only reason I didn't grind Maloon is because its stats are good enough to where it should be. It should do all right in this gym. I did find out there's a gym by accidentally walking into it thinking it was a daycare center. So the first gym is a dragon type gym. So if nothing else, Fairfree will be immune to the dragon attacks. So even if it's under level, it's going to do good. So now Big Bird's level 14. We got still got Scratch. We got Fairy Attack, Quick Attack, and Peck. So nothing really great there. Um, Sabo's level 15 now. Pound, Tail Whip, Ember, and Smokescreen. The biggest change, however, goes to Harry, level 14, who learned Sand Attack, Tackle, but he got Dig, and it hits hard, and then, of course, we still have Bite. So, we are just about ready to take on this gym, I think, but before we do that, we are going to explore this entire town, talk to the people, see if we can get some free stuff, because uh, I would like some free stuff. I've heard the legend of the multicolored dragon Pokemon. There are some tales saying that it once saved this region from a drought. Hmm. Is it the Spectrum Pokemon, maybe? Huh? Huh? This house is all the way out here. You better have some goodies. You're a new trainer, aren't you? Hmm, yes, I see a lot of potential within you. If you work hard, you may be able to do great things. I have the gift for you. Yes! Hidden power. Alright, not bad. Not bad at all. I'll never use it. But, in case I wanted to, I'm being in business. There's, this is so much better than the city. I like the peace and quiet. We have not been to what I feel is an actual city yet. Yo, we got a quick claw? Word? Um... Fair free has reduced speed, so we're gonna give that thing quick claw. Get that quick claw popping. The, dra the Drakia next to the gym is said to have lived in this village for more than a century. It's apparently older than everyone here. Liz likes taking care of it. Liz being the gym leader. So it was already worth it talking to everyone here. There is a golden item up there. I like unevolved Pokemon, they're usually cuter than fully evolved ones. There was one time a Pokemon suddenly stopped evolving. I was sure, I sure was happy. Have any of your Pokemon evolved yet? Evolution might be your key to being the gym leader. Don't say that. Don't say that. Okay. Because I don't want to grind anymore. Like, the XP is not bad in this game, but the battles take a while, so... There are many places in this region that have a gym leader. Did you beat this village of gym leader yet? She's pretty tough. Great. I used to collect gym badges myself. It felt good overcoming a challenge and getting a pretty badge. Awesome. Riveting. I love being outside, don't you? It's alright. When it's warm. There's a Dratini in there. How does Pokemon breeding work? See, that's why I thought this was the fucking daycare center. Ah, uh, this nice long path. Somehow it makes me feel like riding my bike back and forth for an hour's on end. Don't you agree? I don't have a bike. Wait, Route 5? We kind of went through Route 5? This whole time? Hello? What is this? Who are you? These trees! If I can find a trainer with at least one gym badge, I can test this out! this house the Gobi farm is this the fucking daycare center after all this feel free to check out the back there are some Pokemon there as well as nice crops people from Gobi village come to this farm often for produce it's a good business moo 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 tank a co-combat to all of our supply. Okay. Hello, I want Professor Yuka's assistance. He told me that I can give you a gift Pokemon if you caught 30 or more Pokemon? Hello? That is a lot. 
Can I catch you? No, whatever that is, it's asleep. Hey, let's get these berries. I wonder if there's like something we can catch out here. That's what I'm interested in. So this is where we can probably grow our own stuff. What's this? Cutter's Grove, okay. No. Can't do that yet. We cannot do that yet. No. So is this like Hey, this is just actual crops. Alright, let's see what we got back here. Nothing else. See if it's more of the same usual shit. What the fuck is that? Pajambaz? This thing's pink as fuck. I bet it's fairy type. The quit! Claws popping! It did nothing. It's got rest? That's annoying, actually. So you must be the sleeping Pokemon. Look at this Quick Claw, hello? This thing is bulky as shit. A crit! Oh, we're gonna throw a Pokeball at it. So if we can't catch one of these pajambas. One, two, three, boom! There we go. It's a normal type, the slumber Pokemon. It sleeps nearly every hour of the day. Anyone who rests their head on its fluffy back can fall asleep quickly and have good dreams. Pajama Sam. Even though it's a chick. Take a look. Not my kind of thing. Close the fucking menu, thank you. See if there's anything else out here. Touring! This thing looks powerful. It's got Intimidate. Quick Claw! It's got rage. Does nothing but like it's interesting. Stab. Assuming this is another normal type. Okay. Oops, not Pokemon. One, two, three. Boom! Look at this! Reminds me of Tauros. It is a normal type. The young bull Pokemon. The ring in its mouth is actually a tusk. The ring is as hard as steel and aids in its blunt force ramming attacks. Um... Well, Tauros was the king in Gen 1. So we'll call you the king. Now let's take a look at you. Normal type. Wait, is that the nature that increases attack? Naughty? We have a Naughty the King. This could be worth keeping around, honestly. So there's anything else in this grass. That thing was with a lot of XP. No, just more. More Taurings. So 
Did we get that same amount of XP? Oh my god, the quick claws popping! I flip it pops this much in the gym. I think we'll give touring a shot. Probably not really useful for this gym because we'd have to grind it up some. But it's possible that we use it, you know, afterwards. So we'll switch train it. Might not even have to switch train it because it's level 10. Yeah, those things are worth good XP. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this place. That's cool. That is cool. What else is out here? In this route. Okay, everything's blocked by cut trees, so. Let's go to the Pokemon Center. We'll drop. We're gonna drop this in. Yeah, I think we'll keep touring. We'll keep the king out for now. We'll take a quick rest up here. Heal. And let's go begin our gym challenge. I also have to cut to get that. It's interesting. More of the Cutter's Grove. Okay. So these two areas are connected. Alright, there's a fairy Pokemon that go before us. It's a gym leader here. Very easy to beat, but I couldn't find it. Maybe there's some trick to it. I think that's what I have. I hope. I wonder what Pokemon do when they're staying at the daycare. They hump. Yo, fresh trainer! You see me new to Pokemon. This basics are to fight all the trainers and beat the gym leader to earn your gym badge. You do know, you do know what a badge is, right? Gain eight of them and you'll be able to challenge the Pokemon League. This gym happens to use dragon types, which will be particularly tough for new trainers such as yourself. Especially since grass, fire, and water type all do little damage against dragon type. There are no ice or fairy types around here that I know of, so if you want to deal super effective damage, you'll have to use your own dragon type moves. You should have this, it'll help. We got that fresh water. Let's go. Oh, the dragon type's in there. I want I want that gibble. I won't let you get to the gym leader so easily. Youngster Tal. This thing looks cool. Level 12. Let's go, they're free! We're faster anyway. They're busting out normal moves. That's fine. Fairy Free is beefy as fuck, man. I have to give it props. And we got the confusion. There we go. You scratch anyway. But yeah, scratch is fine. Scratch is not hurting me that much. Hit yourself. Hey! Oh, we should kill this turn. Oh my goodness. Maybe you can beat Liz. Maybe I can. There's grass here? Is there a lot of Pokemon in this gym? No. That would be hype. Let's battle! Alrighty. Last Pascal. Larvas, huh? We got something for a lot of us. And it's the big bird. You screech. Okay, that could be bad. <laughs> that could be very bad. We didn't outspeed and it's using buy, that'll kill. If that hits. Bide's like a priority move, I'm pretty sure. Oh! That's not good. Yeah, Big Bird's dead. The Screech.
That's okay, we'll just burn your ass. I have really good special attack. Ha! Ha! I didn't kill! Wow! Oh, they got the burn! Well, the burn kill? Oh, it's got shed skin. Fuck. Uh, Biden will help you now. Very free leveled up. Poison powder, stun spore, and sleep powder. Holy shit. We are ready. We are fucking ready, man. We are gonna cheap it all up. Let's go heal. So we can status the fuck out of the gym leader and spam it with confusion. Nice fast heal. Okay, let's head downstairs. Of okay, a Brava? So you're accepting my challenge, huh? No backsies! Oh my god, this music, hello? Listen to this. She's got a Pokemon egg. She's got two Pokemon. Well, because I'm an asshole. I'm gonna try and poison you. Boom. This music is fucking pumping. Let's go. Confusion time. Look, I'm not using dragon moves at all. Fair Free, you are the MVP right now! You just became way more usable. The XP! Dragenta, we'll stay in. Go ahead, I fucking dare you hit me with your, uh... We're faster. Bite? I resist that too! I can actually stall and heal f here. Use a dragon move, I fucking dare ya. Like for a dragon type gym, then I have any dragon moves. We're so. We don't even need to quick claw, we're faster. Not gonna heal? You know that heal's coming up. Probably next turn. No? These gym leaders are hardcore. They don't There's Dragon Rage and it doesn't affect me! Get fucked! Get fucked! Goodbye. 930 experience! Wow! Wow, I never thought you'd be able to beat my dragon types. I never thought you'd give me that much XP. Wow, well, you actually beat me. I know you're bigger and all, but it still caught me by surprise. I used to cry when I lost, but knowing someone is stronger than me just motivates me to train out Pokemon more. You better have this. Hey! Our first gym badge. So we are halfway through this demo. I just imagine your first step to becoming a great Pokemon trainer. Enjoy, and I'd love to play with your Pokemon at my daycare. So be sure to stop by again. Oh, this is the daycare! Gym leaders usually give out TMs, but I can't remember where I place mine. Come over to the daycare and I'll give you another gift. Uh, no. I don't want it. Here, I have a gift for you. My, my big sister gave it to me, but I have no idea what's inside. Please take care of it. We got a Pokemon egg! 
feel free to come back and I can take care of your Pokemon for a while too. So this not only is the gym, but it was a daycare center like I thought. Awesome. Well, that's going to do it for today's episode, guys. A very eventful one. We got a new team member. We beat the first gym. And we got a Pokemon egg. So now we need to try and find out how to get cut. Which I assume it's from this guy that's um, outside on Route 5. But we'll see. But that will be on next time's episode. We will see you guys for the next one.